Hey guys, today we are going to be installing a Poison Spider Customs hood louver on a 2005 Jeep TJ. Here's a list of the parts that will be needed for this project. This list as well as the instructions can be found on the Poison Spider website and by following the link in the description. We'll start by removing the hood. To do this, first open the hood and disconnect the under hood light, the washer hose, and the ground strap. Close the hood and remove the six torque bolts from the hinges using a T40 torque bit. Then carefully pry the hinge loose from your hood. Next, remove your hood and set it aside on your workstation. We laid towels down to prevent any damage to our hood. With the hood upside down, first remove the washer nozzle, the footman loop, and the windshield bumpers. We use the screwdriver to carefully push ours through. Now, carefully cut out the template provided being careful not to crinkle yours before like we have. Then cut out the windshield bumper hole. Lay the template on your hood and align it using the windshield bumper holes. We used pens in ours to hold it in place so we could tape it down. Now comes the nerve wracking part. Carefully center punch at each of the crosshair locations. Be careful not to use too much force and overly dent the hood. Now remove the template you should see a bunch of center punch locations. We took a sharpie to ours to make them easier to spot for drilling. Now using the one inch hole saw bit, drill at each of the center punch locations. Using a straight edge and marker, connect the outside edges of the holes as shown on the template. Using the cutoff wheel, carefully cut along the lines you've just drawn. Deeper the areas you've just cut by using a file or sandpaper to smooth these edges. Use auto prep to clean the area, and then use touch up paint to cover any bare metal exposed by these cuts, making sure to get the back side as well. Place the louver on the hood, and use the windshield bumpers and footman loop to temporarily hold the louver in place. Using a 732nd bit, drill a hole at one of the corners. Apply anti-seize to the threads of a bolt and install this in that corner, firmly tightening this. However, do not over tighten as you could strip the bolt or dent your hood. Then proceed to do this with the remaining three corners. After the corners are complete, drill the remaining holes installing your bolts finger tight as you go along, making sure to use anti-seize on the threads. Now, remove all the bolts in the hood louver and clean the area. Make sure to clear any drill chips and burrs and then use touch-up paint to cover any bare metal. Once again, place the louver on the hood. Then, install the bolts and tighten these in a crisscrossing manner as if you were tightening a tire. It is important to note again here not to over-tighten these bolts, especially the front row, as these go through two layers of metal and can quickly dent your hood if you're not careful. Now reinstall your footman loop, windshield nozzle, and the windshield bumpers. Place the hood back on the Jeep and reinstall it using the six torque bolts. Finally, reconnect the ground strap, the washer nozzle hose, and the under hood light. 